Good morning. I'm getting ready for work again this morning and I have I had a few questions and I'm just going to address those while I'm getting ready. This morning I'm going to use uh, I want to use the Charlotte Tilbury I burnt my fingers on my on my curling iron. I don't know why. I was going to move it off give me some working area. And for some reason, I grabbed it by the barrel instead of the handle. Anyway, the show must go on. Okay, this is a sharp Tilbury Magical Way. The color in this that I use is three. Um, I've heard in the past that this runs out really fast. That's two products of hers that I have heard that claim. It hasn't run out fast with me because I only use it as an eyeshadow primer. Why don't I use it for a, uh, I find it, it's a little, maybe a little too dry a formula for other places. I like it as a dry formula for my, under my eyeshadow. Oh boy, I just brushed my Okay, I'm going to go in with the, I'll be right back. I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown palette again. Uh, I enjoyed that look. That look just got better as the day went on. First of all, I'm going to take that Lorac. Uh, powder. Cream, it's a pro, I don't know what, I've, I saw it on the internet and then I followed the link and it was unavailable. So this must be, but I bet they have something very similar in one of their palettes. It's just a, it's not a optic white, it's a, it's a little bit of a creamy white and it's pretty opaque. Anyway, I'm going to pile that underneath my brow like that. Then I'm going to take the ivory from this Bobbi Brown palette and set the rest of my lid. Then I'm going to take a E35 and I'm going to take that same, it's kind of a cement color. I think they have a color by Bobbi Brown that's current right now. It's called cement. And I'm going to put that in the crease. And then I'm going to drag it out. Dragging the shadow out. That reminds me of the question I was asked. Uh, I mentioned that it's uh, a good way to get your eyes to not look so round and to correct the outside of your shadow is with your under eye concealer. And I'll show you that. Remind me when I get to that step. Y'all have all seen that before. I probably just didn't articulate it in a way that it rang a bell. But anyway, I'll show you. Dragging it out. Uh, I think her request, she has uh, round eyes and she wants them to look more almond. I, you know. We'll just give a little bit of an illusion with our eyeshadow placement. I have some lidocaine on my fingers. It's feeling much better now. That was stupid. I don't know what, I guess I was in a hurry. All right, now, the, today I had a little bit of a problem getting my sparkle shadow to adhere. So I'm going, wow, it does have a sharpener on the end of this. Anyway, this is the Clean Up Highlight Crayon 
brow crayon. I'm using it on my lid so I can make my sparkle shadow stick better. There we go. Now I'm going to take that same pink shadow from that palette and pack that on. I'm still using the same brush. It's, it's a travel brush from MAC. It probably came in a holiday gift bag, holiday zippy collection. You know what I'm saying? It feels like horse hair. It's not, a, it's not soft. And the reason I'm using it is because I, somehow I've, I don't know, misplaced, reorganized something. All right, so there's that. There's that show. Okay, and again, I'm going to use that dark. It's, I think it's called, what was it called? Chocolate Mauve from this palette. I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to look straight into the mirror and mark that off. Like that. And then sweep it in. So this is still going in the direction of making your eyes not look so round, right? I'm just going to keep looking straight ahead into the mirror. So I haven't seen Flower Bomb in a while. Do y'all know where she is? I pulled her channel up to see if somehow I just missed her posting. She just hasn't posted. Maybe she's on vacation with her family. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. Oh. Now I'm going to take an, another taupey color from this. Dragging it out straight across towards the tip of the t brow and then from the corner of the eye up to meet it. Straight across from the middle of the eye to the tail down to the corner of the eye. There. And I'm going to do the underneath again. Last time I said I wasn't going to meet, meet the underneath. But it turned out I liked it. I liked it. Still kind of keeping my eyes open, looking straight ahead. Sometimes this technique is difficult to do on another person because they don't like to have their eyes open with you flicking so close to their eyeballs. I have to keep telling them to open and look at, look at me, look at me. Anyway, I guess it's just easier to do on yourself, right? All right, it looks like I may still have to use a damp brush to get the effect I want. And I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Spray Mist to, to accomplish this. 
I'm spraying it first and then taking my brush and rubbing it like this on that color. All right, let's work on the brows. Oh, my fingers feel much better now. Whoo, boy, that was touch and go there for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do, I like the way my brows turned out the other day when I used a brow brush and this Kat Von D powder. So I'm gonna do it again. I just went in and colored with powder and a brow brush. I'm not worrying about doing little brow strokes. This is a different looking brow. It's kind of a hazy thing. And again, I like to make sure that the fronts come in the same equidistance. And then when I do my foundation and uh, under eye concealer, I can correct that. I did like the burgundy pencil underneath, kind of between my lashes. It's not on, it's not on the waterline. I'm kind of wiggling this in between my lashes. There we go. looking like I need to bring the uh, this dark chocolate mauve try to get that in between my eyelashes kind of blur this down a little further And that gets all perfected when you do the under eye concealer. This is uh, another taupey, mauvey shadow from this kit. I'm going in with this one now. There. If you feel like you get this down too low, you can correct it with your under eye concealer. Now I'm going. I'm going to put some of this light color, Lorac, opaque, right there, right there, right there, in the center of my eye, close to my lash line. Let's start on the foundation. I'm going to use the VDL again. I don't want to put lidocaine on my paint on my face. I have to do this with 
I don't want to use my brush either for this step. I like using my fingers for the for the primer. It's really perfumey. Never noticed that before. I must be hypersensitive this morning. Now I'm going to use my damp beauty blender and my La Mer foundation. Uh, I know I talk about this a lot, or you've heard me talk about this a lot. I have not owned more than one bottle of this La Mer. It just lasts that long. Of course I have, you know, probably 50 foundations, so I don't know. We ought to count one day and see how many foundations I have. It's a good color. It matches perfect. I must have, I think Pat got this for me as a present. He likes the La Mer counter. There's a uh, sales clerk at the La Mer counter that he gets along with well. This is a, this is his girlfriend. His wife is, his other wife is in, uh, his other family is in Myrtle Beach and his girlfriend's at the La Mer counter. Anyway, she always gives him a, you know, she's generous with the samples and carry it back on my ears some. <sighs> Did we keep the luminosity? Oh yeah, we kept the luminosity. And then I go back with a setting powder if there's some place that I don't like so luminous. I think this crease around my nose is, uh, I don't like that crease. It's an unattractive crease. I'm going to check this up close to make sure I... Ooh, I got sparkles everywhere. That's all right. I like sparkles. Let's do under eye concealer. And I'll show you what I mean about shaping up the outside corner. Take the concealer and drag it up. That's all I meant. Nothing complicated. I probably just made it sound like it was a a new thing. It's not a new thing. See? And then I like to bring it. I like to picture where I'm going to put my nose contour and put my highlight as if I'm running it next to it. and bounce bounce the light out of the nas nasal labial folds you got to sit back and look where that shadow is being cast and act like you're erasing it like that and then i'm going to take my concealer brush and i'm kind of making sure that these eyebrows are confined within their area that they're where they're supposed to be all right let's curl eyelashes and put our first coat of mascara on this is not blurred enough here too much. So I'm just taking that same brush that I was using, the E35, and just wiggling it in tiny circular motions to make that soft. Okay, this is my Shiseido Lash Curler. I think my lashes are, I don't know whether they're blonde or gray. I think they're blonde still at this point. I have a couple of gray eyebrows and I guess gray eyebrows are better than no eyebrows. At least you can color those and put some brown eye gel on them or brow gel or something. Okay. 
So that's my first layer of. Now I'm looking for my, there it is, Monsieur Big Mascara. The reason I keep using this, I'll tell you a secret, is I put some lash serum in it. I kind of, let's see, who was the person lately that inspired me? The person lately who inspired me to do that was the cosmetic dermatologist in California that Brianna is friends with. Stephanie Kaplan, I think her name is. Anyway, she said that was what she did. She put oh, two, two drops of her lash serum in her mascara. And it being a travel size, I don't have to worry about it, you know, getting too diluted or, you know, waste, whatever. Anyway, that's why I keep using this is because I'm trying to see if I can pump up the volume. I've contoured my face with the Becca Bialite and put my BFF brow glue in there. It'll all be linked below. And I'm gonna use the Rebel Rose again today. Wow, that lays it on heavy. This is a matte blush brush. I don't know what the number is. I'll put it in the description box when I edit, because I can't see the number right now. I have to look it up. But yeah, that packs it on. I guess it's an all hair, natural hair brush. And it lays it on heavier than a synthetic duo fiber thingamabobber. And duo ro uh, rebel rose across the nose again. All right, and I'm going to Not add any more to my brush, just use what's on the brush. Just sweep that out. Oh, in the mirror, it looks a little bit overwhelming. Bring it out some. This is my damp beauty blender that I put in my. Uh, foundation on with. See if we can bring that blush away from my nose some. There. It, I guess when I last talked to you we were putting on a coat of mascara maybe. I'm gonna put on another coat. Actually I would like to have my lash comb first. All right, let's put another layer of the Monsieur Big in there. Uh, I'm wiggling it like this, trying to get it between the lashes before I drag it up. I think the lashes are getting better. Better. I think we're getting back to a natural, wispy lash look instead of such heavy lashes. I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's what I see kind of trending lately. People trying to grow their own lashes instead of wearing false lashes. I've seen it on multiple channels from multiple creators. All right. Let's get a lip. I kind of liked my burgundy lip the other day. I'm going to go in light-handed. My lips did not peel after using that Sigma patina the other day. Let's see if I can look it up. Oh, there it is. Found it again. I just like the lightest amount so that I can
I feel like my uh, face is overdone or something. Hmm. How can? Oh, I got a clean brush here. I'm gonna soften this. There. Is that better? All right, let's put a highlight on the end of the nose. I'm going to take this same brush I was using for eyeshadow. There we go. I think this highlight, this is the white brick. from the Becca Bia light. I think it's kind of satiny. It is. It's more of a... How do you do that? It's more of a... A satin. It's... Instead of a shiny. Push those brows up. Push the eyelashes up. Somebody's dog's misbehaving. These people that walk down the road with their dog off the leash and think, I don't care if they walk their dog, you know, like I said before, swing your arm all you want to as long as it doesn't hit me. I don't care what you do. I don't care if there is a leash law and you don't have your dog on a leash. But I think it's funny when they think all dogs want to talk to each other. That's what happened out there. That dog gave her dog a, an attitude adjustment. I keep Taco on a leash and I keep him off other people and other dogs because he will bite if another dog comes over to sniff him he'll bite them on the nose I think he does it because he's little and he doesn't want to risk it okay um My hair is dirty. I worked out yesterday. I worked out yesterday and, and my hair is dirty. Um, this, this goes a long ways to fix dirty hair. It's the do-over. Hair hairspray and dry shampoo all in one. It smells fabulous and I think it works good. Get a little little zhuzh. If there's anybody that lives in Mount Pleasant, Charleston area and wants a job in a plastic surgeon's office doing, running the laser or, you know, being a medical assistant or whatever, esthetician, medical assistant, whatever, I think we're looking for help again. Okay, I'm going to go get dressed. I'm just going to let it go. I'm just let it go. It's dirty and it's not going to, it's not going to do 
right. All right, I'm going to go get dressed, and I'll be back to show you my outfit of the day.